today I'm going to let go of one of my secrets. Here we go. This is a kiln brick. And I'm going to show you how to turn ordinary glass, like this glass up here, and special spectrum glass that you can get quite easily into beautiful pieces like this. All I use is a kiln brick, like this one, and an ordinary 900 watt microwave. Stronger would be better, I'm sure, but 900 watt does it for me. Starting off with a kiln brick, I cut it in half, and then turn it into a box. There are many ways of doing this, I'll show you in coming videos of a few different ways using power tools and using just plain hand tools how you can do it. And you have a lid to cover it made of the same material the kiln brick or refractory brick and then inside go my elements. The elements catch the radiation of the microwave, the microwaves, and they glow white hot, making this entire interior a little kiln, and that melts the glass. I'll start off with a little demonstration. We'll melt a couple of marbles and see how that turns out. All right, let's try this. First, start with kiln paper. Essential to put in some kiln paper. Otherwise, your molten glass will stick to the bottom of the kiln and ruin it completely. Let's get these into here, like that. Problem with marbles is they tend to roll around. Let me get the lid on. And we'll stick it in the microwave for about 7-8 minutes, then we'll check it, it might have to go a bit longer. So I've just popped this into the microwave. There we go, oops, let's not forget the lid. Okay, we'll set it for nine minutes for a start. We'll check along the way. Let's see how it goes. All right, we'll check it in a few minutes and see how it's going. Okay, let's take a look, see how it's going. She's ready. Okay, we're going to have a quick look inside here. It's important not to open it for too long, otherwise it cools down too fast and the piece cracks. Let's have a look. All right, she's still hot. You can see the marbles there have melted. They've fused together. All right, it's cooling down fast now, so we're going to put the lid back on. There we go. And then we allow that to cool down for about half an hour to an hour until it's cool to the touch. So while we're waiting for those marbles to cool down, remember you can't take them out too early otherwise they crack. We're going to put some other little pieces of glass together here. I've got some little scrap pieces, this 2mm spectrum glass. And when you melt this you got to remember that it's going to end up pooling at a depth of about 6mm. So you can't lay it single, I prefer to lay it double. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get some color in with some orange. And 
and then maybe some dark blue at the bottom. Yeah. I'm not much of an artist, but we'll see how this comes out. Yeah. So we'll pop that lid on and we'll stick that in the microwave and see how it comes out. Alright, this one's just come out. It should be ready now. Let's have a quick look. There we go. It's a little bit warm. You can't see the colours when it's hot. We'll see the colours when it's a bit, a little bit cooler. Let that cool off slowly. If you let it cool off too fast, the pieces crack. Leave it closed until the box is cool to the touch. Like this one over here, the marbles. Let's go and have a look what they look like. Okay, we're going to take a look here at these marbles that we melted. What do they call this? An unboxing or a reveal. Maybe I should leave it for the next video. Ah, just kidding. I won't do that to you. Let's have a look. Ah, wow. That's cool. This dust here. This is dust from the kiln paper. That's what it turns into. There we go. Two marbles melted together. Okay, the second one is cooled off enough now. Yeah, that's nice and cool. Let's take a look how it came out. Voila. Let's see. It's interesting how the red has gone much darker. That's quite nice. I quite like that. Put a little hole into that on the top. I'll show you how to do that. And turn it into a pendant. I think those came out quite nicely for the little test pieces. Right guys, I'm going to make a whole bunch of videos and show you how to make these kilns, microwave kilns they're called, together with these elements. I'll make a different video to show you how I make the elements. And then we'll be making a whole lot of these pieces to show you how I do it. There's a whole bunch in here. Right, so subscribe to my channel and we'll have some fun together.